Western Sydney residents are waiting longer for emergency treatment than anyone else in the state. And while most hospitals have made progress, the latest performance figures show those in the city's west are falling behind. Nick Doll reports. It's Australia's fastest growing region, but with a booming population, Western Sydney emergency departments are bursting at the seams. The staff are incredibly hard working. They always want to do a good job, but um, it, it just seems that uh, more often than not we're, we're asked to do uh, more with relatively less each time. The national target is for 81% of patients to be in and out of emergency within four hours. In the latest snapshot, Blacktown wasn't even close, achieving just 49%. Mount Druitt, Nepean, Liverpool, Campbelltown and Bankstown were also way off the mark and Westmead was the worst, achieving just 45%. In Western Sydney, the health system is in crisis. And this all comes back to one problem, and that is this government has cut $3 billion out of our hospitals. The Far West and Murrumbidgee Health Districts did achieve their emergency goals, but across the state only 69% of patients were in and out of emergency within four hours. While some emergency targets haven't been met, there have still been improvements over time. Here at Westmead, most patients are leaving the emergency department in four and a half hours. Back in 2010, under Labor, it was taking six hours. The health minister says there's a lot of good news in the report. All urgent elective surgery occurred within recommended time frames, with semi-urgent and non-urgent categories close behind. So it's a very positive report and there's always room for improvement, but I'm thrilled. She should talk to parents and she should get out more. But the fact is that in Western Sydney we have the longest waiting times in emergency departments in the state. The next round of figures are due in March, just days before the state election. Nick Dole, ABC News.